Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 4 of my Suyata Fokker DR1 and Red Baron build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell, that'd be brill. Thank you. So, to start off this episode we're going to be snipping all the struts off the sprues and prepping them for priming. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. So, there we have the struts, the supports, the undercart, the wheels, all ready and test fitted. Which we'll be doing more of with this thing. And finally, primed. Next, let's address the elephant in the room, shall we? Yep, the control column. It needs resolving, so let's scratch build one that looks reasonably like the original. I'm using plastic coated metal rod for the column and I found a part in my Greebly box for the central section. So, let's get this built, shall we?
we have the control column built. I also used some lead wire for the part coming out of the central part. You know, of course, it, it, a yoke, that's it. God, no memory. Anywho, it's now ready for priming and looks a tad like the original, so I'm happy. As you can see, I've mounted the engine and I also did some ignition cables, which you can't see. I did this off screen. For those of you in the know, that's YouTuber speak for I got, forgot to start the bloody recording. Next up, we're going to be drilling holes in the seat for the harness straps. I'm using my Meng DR1 destructions to recreate them. So, let's get those cracked, shall we? There we have the holes done. Next up, the harness itself. I'm using four millimeter masking tape, cut in half using my cutting board to two mil wide. I don't have two mil wide masking tape, hence the reason I'm doing this. So here we go. There we go, that's the harness done. Looking pretty good. It'll need a double paint though. Now for the buckles. To do this, we're twisting 0.3 millimeter copper wire around a toothpick as tight as we can, but without indenting the wood. Then slide it off the pick and snip through the spring that comes off. I'll slow the video down when we get to it so you can see what I mean. Here we go, I did say I would slow it down so you could see what I mean. we have the buckles done on the harness. Nifty little trick that, isn't it? And I can't remember for the life of me where I saw it. Mm. Anywho, up next we're fitting the elephant, sorry, control column into place. There we go, control column fitted satis. Now to fit the internals into the fuselage. Here comes the fun bits. Not.
got to ask, what is it with me and bloody clamping model fuselages together? I don't know. Anyway, that's the front of the fuselage fitted. It's going to need a bit of filling in places, but I think that's more me than the model. Next, we're cleaning up the undercard, so let's get that bit cracked. There we have that done and ready for priming and also as if by magic, done. Next up we're painting the anti-roll bars that go under the lower wings and the tail skid. We're using Tamiya's XF57 buff for this and we'll be using a hairy stick, not an airbrush. <laughs> we have the first coat of buff on. We'll let that dry and come back to it a bit, give it time to dry. Next up we're going to be sorting out the wing struts, test fitting, cleaning up the connections. I've also got to say that this is very much like a cartoon version of Wing Not Wings kit. Fine tolerances and you need to clean up every single mating surface if you're going to paint it. Anyway, let's get on with these. we have those cleaned up and test fitted. I was a tad heavy handed on a couple, hence the reason for my homebrew extra thin on the parts just to try and strengthen them back up. Next up is a figure. This is part hard plastic, part rubbery plastic. I hate that stuff. It's an absolute nightmare to clean up, but we'll give it a go. We'll start with his head, stick and his blue max. So, Let's get on with that. those three parts of the figure ready for priming. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 4. If you want to see what happens in episode 5, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.